So now we understand the purpose of a Carnot map. The purpose of a Carnot map is to avoid the necessity of using Boolean algebra while still being able to minimize the complexity of the digital logic function that we're generating. We also understand that a Carnot map has one cell for each row of the truth table. We understand that there's going to be three different versions of the Carnot map depending on how many variables we have. And we remember that if you, if you have a large enough K map, Carnot map or K map, you have to, ex you have to remember that the third and fourth rows or the third and fourth columns are going to be switched with one another. So today we're going to talk about, or in this video we're going to talk about how to fill the Carnot map and honestly it isn't as hard as you might guess. Uh, you simply take each row of the truth table and it becomes a cell in the Carnot map and you fill them in according to the, in, according to the order uh, uh, of the rows and according to the order of the numbers in the cells of the, of the, of the map. And so here I've, I've added red arrows in this case so we can be very explicit about the fact that row number zero goes to cell number zero. So this one right here becomes this one right here. Row number one uh, goes to cell number one. So this one right here becomes this one right here. Uh, row number two goes to cell number two. So this zero becomes this zero. And then row three becomes cell three. So this one becomes this one. That's all there is to it, really. Uh, most of the time, if a person makes a mistake using a Carnot map uh, in, in filling it in, uh, it's either they've just accidentally miscopied a number, or when you get to the larger ones, they've forgotten to skip or forgotten to uh, swap the third and fourth rows or the third and fourth columns. Here, notice then, uh, and I, I like to do them in, in groups of four. So I'll say to myself, one, zero, one, zero. And then I'll come over here and I'll go in the right order. One, zero, one, zero. Then I say to myself, one, one, zero, zero. But I have to start here in cell four. One, one, zero, zero. You might do it in groups of two or three or I don't know. Uh, however it is that you prefer to do it. But it does seem to me that it, it, it goes pretty easily if I say to myself in my head uh, the, the numbers in groups of four. Um, here's another example. This is, uh, this is a larger example, uh, which is four by four. Uh, and here I'm going to see one, 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 one. So I come over here, one, one, skip down one, back up one. Then I'm going to go to row four, one, zero, zero, one. So I have one, zero, skip down zero, back up one. Then row number eight is one, zero, zero, one. One, zero, skip down zero, back up one, and then finally wrap it up with another one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, down to zero, back up to one. So filling in the Carnot map is really just a matter of, of taking the rows of the truth table and writing the contents into the K map uh, in the correct order. And the number one place where you'll make a mistake is in forgetting to swap the third and fourth columns and the third and fourth rows. Uh, you know, I hate to I hate to be pessimistic, but it seems very likely that on the first exam, that's a that's a mistake that several students are going to make. So just really try to be as diligent as you possibly can when filling in the K map. Uh, and, and I think adding those cell numbers in the top left corner of each cell, I think that makes a big difference. I think it helps to remind you that that you need to that you need to, to that you need to swap the third and fourth column in the third and fourth row. So you now have enough information to, uh, to to solve the first example problem for today, the filling Carnot maps example problem. Before you tackle that one, you might go back up to uh, up to the previous figure. Let's see if I can find the figure here that has the three Carnot maps. You know, set that figure aside and see if you can replicate those Carnot maps. Because the first step of of solving a Carnot map problem is to be able to draw the blank Carnot map, and that's something that you're going to need to learn to do from scratch.